Late April, in the Norwood Hood near 208. Uh, this is actually less than 24 hours old. Well, hey there, Robert Klein. I don't dispute it. You are pretty funny for a comedian. But I'm calling you out on this one small point. The Bronx is beautiful this time of year. Oh, the little baby leaves so pale, even translucent, learning about chlorophyll with precious pink and white petals before a storm bully makes them all fall, beating on the Bronx. It's like throwing Jewish into a monologue. It gets a laugh or at least a titter. A Jew in a boat? A schmuck? What the fuck? We were tailors till our kids went to college. Now, Bronx, or rather, the Bronx, is got phonemes that seem to be inherently humorous, like Yonkers, Ya, Kia, and especially Ks, are funny. Why? I don't know. But, oh, Robert, you know the Bronx, or you did. I don't need a bio to tell me that you grew up on the Concus. The same grand concourse where Laura Negro, later Nero, woodshedded her pipes from the stairway of the B train. Laura's gone, alas, but not until she wrote New York Tenderberry. How can I not love a soul who created such a beautiful words? Ah, uh, but you, Robert Klein, you headed off to gentrified Bedford Hills. Oh, the humanity, six squirrels, two raccoons, and a skunk had to move to Perth and boy. They couldn't even get a cold water walk-up studio tree hole anymore. I know how that is, leaving Brooklyn in 1992, when Park Slope started creeping down to 7th Ave, and the first eatery then opening on an abandoned block of 5th Ave. Well, I could pick on Canasi, way at the end of the double L, the so-called African Queen, back when I wrote it to work at 4 a.m. in the early 1980s in ancient, intricately vandalized cars, but Yes, I accuse you, Robert Klein, comedian of gratuitous use of the Bronx for humor. Just like I put Jesus in a song, just to sell it. <laughs> just like Nashville uses armless vets with hooks waving flags in the country music videos to sell their latest and greatest stars. Not that a composer or performer musician can make a dime off selling records anymore. That's Sony and Apple's money now. Still, I say, the Bronx is beautiful this time of year. I give you credit for the leg stick, Robert Klein. <laughs> I can't stop my leg. Funny as hell. Wait, hell is funny? Since when? The hell with it. Still I say, the Bronx is beautiful this time of year. I give, uh, oh, I screwed it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hell, hell is it funny? Since when? The hell with it. What Klein doesn't know is that Pinky, a comic burlesque performer, has the same routine. Dance and all sexy, flirty gyrations that continue in one leg when she stops moving till she reaches down to stop it. Pinky, oh my god, Pinky. Uh, even my 100% hetero girlfriend was queer for her, said she wanted to eat her like an ear of corn. Me, I'd love to help Pinky with that leg, but I expect she'd break bad on it, you think? Anyway, Robert Klein, we are all sinners and thieves, and your song was funny as hell. But it's funny how hell ain't funny anymore. <laughs> You want the sonnet or the soul that ran over time? Got 30 seconds. We've got 30 seconds and we're going to do the soul. December 9th, 2016. The color of the air. Pace slows as colors tease. Moments that end unexpectedly, harshly, embed strangely and nervous to be integrated by the brain map. Once in a while a moment comes and suddenly the color of the air seems to change. And when it changes, there's always a before and an after. Thank you. <laughs>